let's now talk briefly about sequences. A sequence is a database object that allows us to manage generation of values. Unlike identity columns, these objects do not depend on any table. Same sequence objects can be used across the database. To create a sequence, use the create sequence statement as shown here. So, we have create sequence my sec. So, that's the to start with 1, increment by 1 and no cycle. The no cycle clause indicates the sequence will not start over from the beginning. Once the limit is reached, the option supported. For sequence objects are the same as the ones for identity columns. To insert or use the sequence object, in this example, you just insert as usual. And then we want to get the next value for the sequence we just use the statement next val for my set. To get the previous values you use preval and the sequence name. Now let's talk about views. A view is a virtual table that is built when the view is evoked. It is built on a select statement. For example, here we have the view my view and it's created based on the select statement select art no name classification from my artist when we want to use the view we create it so we issue select asterisk from and what happens is when you evoke this view called my view this will actually evoke the select statement at the time so it's like saying asterisk from art no name classification from artist now let's talk about indices a index is an order set of keys each point to a row in a table indices are used to ensure uniqueness are also in improved in performance indices can be ordered in ascending or descending mode they can be unique or non-unique unique indices mean that repeated values are not allowed this is helpful to unique identity a record in a table indices can be compound meaning that an index can consist of more than one column it can be cluster meaning that it can be physically arranged in a way that maps the data they point to and finally they can be by directional which is the default behavior meaning that you can transverse the index from top to bottom and vice versa this is good for functions such as mean and max which look for the minimum and maximum values respectively so below is an example of how you can create the index using the create index statement and in this case we have a unique index it is based on the table artist and the column art no and art no ix is the name of the index finally db2 support referential integrity which allows to establish relationships between tables relationships allow the data to be consistent so in the example we have two tables the department table which is the parent table and the employee table which is the dependent table in the department table we have a primary key defined and in the employee table the work depth column works or behaves as the foreign key that means it's related to the department table based on this column and the column depth number so below here we have the definition for the employee table meaning the dependent table and this employee table also has a primary key and also have here to foreign key that is used it is receiving the department table and it also has a rule that says on delete restrict so assuming that the employee table is also the parent table for another table then when you have this delete rule what's going to happen is if you were deleting a row from the parent table but that row had a value that was used on the child table then you cannot delete that row you will first have to delete all the rows from the child table then you will be able to delete the row from the parent table 